Buongiorno e benvenuti alle interviste di WandaVision. Oggi avremo la possibilità di parlare con i protagonisti della serie e scoprire qualcosa di più. Va bene, grazie a tu. Quest'anno, il 1953, la 25esima edizione degli Academy Awards è stata trasmessa per la prima volta in televisione. Shirley Bolt ha vinto l'Oscar come migliore attrice. Quali attrici sono di maggiore ispirazione per te? Catherine Hepburn. Because she's hilarious and incredible to watch. Yeah, uh, Lucille Ball. I'm obsessed with her. Um, I would watch her show on repeat on Nick at Night late at um, night, and it, she was just a lot of fun. So, yeah. You know, Lucille Ball was just like such a pioneer and such a a boss and such a uh, yeah, like a she's such a of incredible and what she had to do to just kind of like <laughs> placate the men around her to make sure they felt they were in charge when she was the one who really was in charge is like pretty is pretty amazing to think about cosa pensi dell'evoluzione della musica e di quello che chiamano rock and roll qual è la tua canzone preferita oggi <laughs> okay, uh, if those are my choices, then it's, it's definitely Elvis in the 50s. Qual è la tua icona di stile? E il tuo capo di abbigliamento preferito? I would say Mary Tyler Moore, because she started wearing pants really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they were very pulled tight in those outfits, everything perfect. I'll tell you, this last year on quarantine, I have gotten very used to and um, appreciative of sweatpants and t-shirts. I really enjoy the felt hat. Quest'anno è di grande successo in televisione una serie televisiva tratta da un fumetto Marvel, l'incredibile Hulk, che è la storia di uno scienziato che esposto dei raggi gamma si trasforma in una creatura verde alta due metri. Hai mai sentito questa storia? Cosa faresti se incontrassi questo personaggio nella vita reale? Oh my God, I don't know that story about the Incredible Hulk. I'm assuming he went to war or something. Um, if I met the Hulk in real life in the 1970s, I, I, I would probably start to consider um, leaving that decade. I try and keep him very calm. I would try not to piss him off. <laughs> um, well, I guess that's if I met Bruce, but um, if I met the Hulk, if he was already green, I guess I would try to run and would probably fail <laughs> um, because he's really, really fast. Ti piacerebbe incontrare delle creature venute dallo spazio o poter viaggiare in diversi mondi? Um, I would like to meet aliens for sure. I've always been interested in people from um, space or creatures from space. And so I would love to meet an alien. Well, um, well yes, I used to want to do that. But now as I, I, as I hurtle towards old age, I'm much more risk adverse. And I would much rather be on, um, on the Amalfi Coast than I would in space. So there you have it. It's <laughs> one of my favorite places on earth. Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna just imagine and go for it, why not? I would love to see what's out in space, what's in the uh, in other worlds and different creatures and aliens and yeah, why not? Hopefully they'll be kind. Show me around. <laughs> we'll tour. Quest'anno il concerto di Elvis Presley Aloha from Hawaii è stato trasmesso in televisione in più di 40 nazioni del mondo. Gli spettatori stimati sono di oltre un miliardo. Dove lo hai visto e qual è la tua canzone preferita? Barney in Love. Johnny be good. Elvis covered, um, I think I would say I'm so lonesome I can cry. How Deep Is Your Love è una delle canzoni più belle del 1977. Vanda e Visione, come duetterebbero sulle note dei Bee Gees? It's a lasting regret of mine that Wanda and Vision didn't sing one of the theme songs, because that would have been great. Yeah. So. I don't know what would their song be. I have no idea. I mean, I, I think the thing that I had so much fun doing with Paul in the 70s was dancing, kind of, you know, as if we were in a disco. And so I think it would be some sort of disco song if it's them in the 70s. In questi ultimi due anni si parla moltissimo della nuova band inglese The Queen, che sta avendo un grandissimo successo. Conosci le loro canzoni? I guess Bohemian Rhapsody, just because it's so bonkers. <laughs> 